Hi, how are you, Candace? Good, good. Thanks for having me on. Oh, it's a pleasure to speak with you. And I'm so excited that your best selling novel has now become a TV series. How do you feel about this? Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for people to, to, to watch. And I get those comments and letters coming through when people are two and three episodes in. Like, I think this, and I trust this person, and I don't trust that person. Uh, the experience is just so fun. Um, so I'm ready. I'm ready to do it in America. We've done it in Australia, and it's been a blast. Now I'm ready to do it over there. Well, America is very excited to experience um, your novel interpreted into a series as well. And I'm just curious, you're such an amazing crime writer, but what inspired this particular story in Australia? Look, uh, we were having a kind of a mini Me Too movement here in Australia. Some of our um, older actors were getting accused of, of, uh, of, of things, of crimes, and I was hearing people say really scary things like, Oh, you can tell he's that kind of guy. He looks he looks like that kind of guy. And I was thinking, well, that's not right. You can't look like, uh, you know, there's no look to criminality. And uh, um, and just the, the, the sort of assumptions and the prejudice and the things that were sort of flooding in and the rumours and, 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 and that kind of thing whenever an accusation is dropped. And I was thinking, what was what's the worst possible thing you could be accused of? And and that's what happens to Ted is his life is destroyed uh, by uh, the accusation that he's assaulted a young girl, and you just you just lose everything. And that's the kind of uh, stain that does not rub off. Um, I wanted to explore how that would affect a person. Mm. Yeah, and that's a brilliant perspective. I don't think anybody's really touched on that perspective of when you're wrongfully accused and how that does affect one's life. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. It's, it's powerful. And how did you feel about Thomas Jane playing your dear Ted? Oh, I was so chuffed. I was just so amazed by that because I've been watching uh, Thomas Jane on screens since I was a teenager, you know, and uh, I, I, I'm so excited to meet him because uh, I'm going over there for the premiere and uh, I, I wasn't able to get to set. So I've only really met him via Zoom. So uh, just I think that's going to add a whole new reality to this for me. I've seen it on screen, but I haven't actually met him and sort of and said, this is the guy. This is Ted. This is Scott. Uh, but he's really friendly and lovely. And he asked so many questions about this character. And we were texting. It was There was a surreal element to it. I was walking around a, a hardware store and I get this text from Thomas Jane. I thought, is this my life? <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is my life now. Uh, amazing. It is amazing. And, and Amanda, the character of Amanda is so complex. She is, yeah. And uh, uh, she's someone who you really have to unwrap uh, mm -hmm. in the book and across the eight episodes. And it's Ted is more like your comfortable armchair of a character. There's one character usually in my novels who you can just sit back and say, I know this person. This is a very relatable person. And so you're viewing Amanda through Ted and saying to yourself, you know, she's accused of murder. She completely owns that she did that. Um, what is the real story here? Because things aren't adding up. Um, hopefully this is, is it will make you participate as a viewer sitting there and saying, she's lying, he's lying, this is real, that's not real, you know? Yeah, and Nicole Shamoon really brings that character to life. She's, she's amazing. She was so committed to this and she had actually just uh, gone into remission from having cancer. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, picking up and getting back on the horse and doing something this large scale. Uh, she's, she's a dynamo. She's amazing. She's definitely amazing in this as well. And it's, it's great to see her on screen playing this character and the two of them together are just the chemistry between them on camera, even though they're like oil and water they both have these underlying, you know, dark secrets and have that commonality, but they just bring such life to the characters and to the dimension of the relationship. And it's, yeah. it's really wonderful to watch. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Well, congratulations <laughs> on all your success on the best-selling novel. And now this novel becoming, you know, part of a <coughs> television series. It's all very exciting and I'm very happy for you. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. I can't wait for the world to see it. Thank you. Have a great day.